Hello and welcome to the 2020 edition of Parks to Kids from the National Park Service. My name is Eve Payer. I am the Director of Community Programs at Atlantic Center for the Arts in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. And in 2019, Atlantic Center for the Arts partnered with our local national park, Canaveral National Seashore, to establish an artist residency program that promotes the value of soundscape. Now, soundscape encompasses all the sounds around us, and it is like a landscape where it includes everything we can notice in a specific area. So the soundscape of Canaveral is quite different from the sounds heard in other national parks like the Smoky Mountains or in Yellowstone National Park. There are different animals and different sound from the earth, for example, waterfalls, springs, or the ocean. So let's look at a couple of examples of the ways our local animals hear the soundscape. The National Park Service has just produced a new junior ranger book called Sounds Explorers. This shares the interesting ways we can understand our world by listening. So let's start with animal ears. Animals have evolved to hear sounds that are important. Most of the time, predators have ears that face forward. Prey have ears that can move around in different directions. For example, owls have excellent hearing for hunting at night. So to hear like an owl, what would we need to do? Cup your hands behind your ears and move around quietly to hear all the sounds around you. An owl like the barred owl, which is common here in the southeastern United States, actually has his ears in different locations. One ear is slightly above the other ear on the other side of its head so that it can triangulate exactly where the sound is coming from. Let's think about how a fox hears. Very similar to a raccoon, it says, to hear like me, roll up pieces of paper into a cone, place the smaller end over your ears. Don't stick them in your ears. So let's take a piece of paper and we'll roll it up until we have a cone. And this will allow us to also pinpoint the location of where that sound is coming from. And then you can move your ears around like so. So this is how animals like the fox and the raccoon hear things. Another example is deer. So to hear like a deer, cup one hand behind one ear to hear sounds in front of you and one hand in front of the other ear to hear sounds behind you like this here and that way. So they move their ears around and they can hear things behind them or you can do it like this and listen to how that changes. So let's make our own ears. Experiment with different shapes and sizes of paper or by using your hands in different ways. You could do it like this. Another animal that we see a lot of in the southeastern United States, especially in Florida, is a manatee. They hear through ultrasound, which are high-pitched sounds that humans can't hear. Dolphins also use this frequency of ultrasound and bats as well. So I'd like to share a story of sound. This story comes from the Western Abenaki tribes, which originally inhabited all of Vermont and New Hampshire and parts of Western Maine, Southern Quebec and upstate New York. Many parks share American Indian culture and history. American Indians tell stories of the environment, traditions, and spirituality. They use objects such as stone carvings, shells, rugs, or pottery to tell stories. This is the story of the drum. It is said that when Creator was giving a place for all the spirits to dwell who would be taking part in the inhabitants of Mother Earth, there came a sound, a loud boom from off in the distance. 
As Creator listened, the sound kept coming closer and closer until it finally was right in front of the Creator. Who are you? asked the Creator. I am the spirit of the drum, was the reply. I have come here to ask you to allow me to take part in this wonderful thing. How will you take part? Creator questioned. I would like to accompany the singing of the people. When they sing from their hearts, I too sing as though I was the heartbeat of Mother Earth. In that way, all creation will sing in harmony. Creator granted this request, and from then on, the drum accompanied the people's voices. Throughout all of the indigenous people of the world, the drum is the center of all songs. It is the catalyst for the spirit of the songs to rise up to the Creator so that the prayers in those songs reach where they were meant to go. At all times, the sound of the drum brings completeness, awe, excitement, solemnity, strength, courage, and the fulfillment to the songs. It is Mother's heartbeat giving her approval to those living upon her. It draws the eagle to it, who carries the message to the Creator. What is a sound that is important in your life? Create a story using pictures or words to tell the story of that sound. Share what you created with your family. So thanks for joining me on this 2020 edition of Parks to Kids. And remember, keep listening.